All right, another quick video. Little quick snippet, a super fun, happy video today. So my baby was a small baby when she was born. She was just under three kilos. Uh, so maybe a few of you people will have to deal with this problem sooner than I did at four and a half months, but she is getting heavy. I did a fun video before about dad strength, getting, getting those gains because uh, as you're, I, I compared myself to Hercules, go back and watch it, but essentially the baby gets heavier, you get heavier, cow, something about a cow, Hercules, they get heavy. Um, but yeah, this baby's getting heavy. So, uh, settling this baby, the last video was about sleep regression. She's also not sleeping that well. So I'm spending quite a bit of time nursing her in, in the spot that she likes it. Sleep on the chest. You can hear the heartbeat, but holding her there with my kind of six kilos head at the extend and even on my weak arm, starting to get, starting to get pretty heavy, starting to get rough. And we're at that point where you're really, really tired and you really want the baby to go to sleep and you've just put a good solid five, 10 minutes into settling her, and your arm's getting tired. And you're sitting there, there is a race. There's a race. Is my arm gonna fall off, or is this baby gonna go to sleep? Hopefully this baby goes to sleep. But as you'll probably find out, or you already know, they can be very particular about how they go to sleep. For instance, my baby likes to be this way, facing that way. Try and do the exact same thing facing the other way. You are the devil. Don't do that. So you're in a very, very tricky situation where you've got to try and hold hold a baby for a prolonged period of time. So what I've come up with, well, I did something, I did a movement that's very natural to me um, from jiu-jitsu because it's one of the first things they teach you, a rear naked choke. Now, I didn't choke out my baby to go to sleep, but I used the movement to help support my own hand to hold me up. This might be, whoop, oh, where are we going? Making bitches at me. You know what? I might just cut that bit out. All right, I'm back. Uh, somehow I managed to screw up a couple minute video. The screen went black. Things got confusing. I got very confused. So what did I do? So I'm holding the baby, holding the baby, holding the baby. Arms getting tired, especially through the bicep, especially going into the tendon, getting tired. So I relied on Old Faithful. Maybe this is something that everyone has figured out and I am uh, giving the old jiu-jitsu a little bit too much credit. But if you don't know, now you know. Hand here, hold the baby. This one slides through, supports my other hand. Movement I'd normally do for a rear naked choke. I'm not gonna be too, I'm not gonna be too critical if I was teaching this. I'd try and teach it sneaking through so the person can't defend. But if you wanna do it the way they used to teach it, which is grab your own bicep and go up, the baby's probably not countering this rear naked choke. Hold, you are gonna be okay. So all I'm doing is this hand that normally holds the baby slides through and goes for my own bicep. Then the other hand is available to come into play and this, with the support of your own arm, I'm, I'm using my both arms. Life gets much easier. So give it a go. If you're struggling with a bit of a heavy baby, you're sitting there getting tired, 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 just slip the hand through a little bit, baby's butt sitting right on the arm. In other hand, added benefit, you can pat the baby on the back with this hand. If that changes your life, you're welcome. All right, have a good day, uh, enjoy it. You only, get, you only get a short time with your baby, so, um, Make the most of it. All right, peace out. Bye. Have a good day.